LeBron James has always been known for being outspoken, both on and off the court. As he prepares for his 22nd NBA season, the Los Angeles Lakers superstar didn't hold back from voicing his frustrations about the team's preseason schedule. On Wednesday, October 9th, LeBron took to his ex, formerly Twitter, account to express his surprise and discontent about the Lakers' travel plans for a preseason game against the Milwaukee Bucks. The game was scheduled to take place on Thursday, October 10th, in Milwaukee, and LeBron seemed less than thrilled about the long journey for what many consider a meaningless preseason matchup. Leave your like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates. Can someone explain to me why we're flying to Milwaukee for a preseason game? LeBron tweeted, clearly puzzled by the decision. His post quickly gained attention from fans and analysts alike, as it raised a broader question about the importance of preseason games for veteran players, especially those as accomplished and seasoned as LeBron James. The Milwaukee Bucks, never ones to miss out on a bit of social media fun, were quick to respond. They posted a light-hearted reply on X, sharing a picture of LeBron standing next to their own superstar, Giannis Antetokounmpo, during an NBA All-Star game. The message seemed to suggest that despite LeBron's reservations, the Bucks were more than happy to host the Lakers and their legendary forward. Up until this point in the preseason, the Lakers had played two games, with LeBron only participating in one of them, a matchup against the Phoenix Suns. Given his advanced age, LeBron is 39 years old and entering a stage of his career where preserving his body for the regular season and playoffs is a priority. Skipping preseason games has become a common practice for the star in recent years. This strategy dates back to his days with the Cleveland Cavaliers and Miami Heat, where he would often sit out exhibition games to avoid unnecessary wear and tear on his body. LeBron's habit of skipping preseason games makes sense for a player of his caliber. With over 20 years of experience in the NBA and four championship rings, his focus is on staying healthy for the games that matter most, the regular season and, more importantly, the playoffs. Preseason games, while valuable for younger players and those fighting for a roster spot, don't hold much significance for a player like LeBron, who already has his role and place on the team solidified. In fact, LeBron's initial reaction to the Lakers' preseason travel plans came after a conversation with his former teammate Richard Jefferson. Jefferson, who played alongside LeBron during their time with the Cleveland Cavaliers, joked about LeBron's involvement in preseason games. LeBron responded with surprise, admitting that he hadn't expected to be part of the trip to Milwaukee. For many NBA veterans, these early exhibition games are often a time to rest and avoid the grueling demands of travel and competition before the real season begins. But LeBron is not the only one who takes it easy during the preseason. It's common practice for many of the NBA's top stars to sit out or limit their minutes during this period. Players like Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, and Kawhi Leonard also frequently skip preseason games, as the focus is more on getting rotation players' minutes and ensuring that the team stars are healthy for the regular season. Preseason is often seen as a chance for younger players to prove themselves and for coaches to evaluate who might earn a spot on the final roster. It's also an opportunity for players recovering from injury to regain their form and conditioning before the season kicks off. However, while veterans like LeBron may not see much value in the preseason, it could be crucial for the Lakers as a whole. This season marks the debut of J.J. Redick as the Lakers' head coach, and preseason games offer him a valuable opportunity to implement his new offensive and defensive systems. Redick, a former sharpshooter who played for multiple teams during his NBA career, is now in his first head coaching role. He's looking to put his stamp on the Lakers' style of play, and the preseason provides a low-pressure environment to experiment with lineups, strategies, and rotations. The Lakers have undergone significant changes during the offseason, and Reddick's coaching philosophy will be key to how the team performs in the upcoming season. For the Lakers, this preseason isn't just about tuning up for the regular season. It's about building chemistry, understanding Reddick's system, and helping the players adapt to new roles. Players like Anthony Davis, Austin Reeves, and D'Angelo Russell are expected to play significant roles alongside LeBron this season, and getting them comfortable in Reddick schemes is crucial. Additionally, with the Lakers aiming to contend for another NBA championship, it's essential that the team start strong. Last season, the Lakers struggled early on and had to battle just to secure a playoff spot. Reddick and his coaching staff are likely keen to avoid a repeat of that slow start, and preseason could be an important factor in setting the tone for a successful regular season. From a broader perspective, LeBron's comments highlight a larger issue in the NBA, the balance between keeping stars healthy and delivering competitive preseason games for fans. The league has long tried to find a middle ground, 
shortening the preseason in recent years and introducing load management policies to protect players during the regular season. Yet, for superstars like LeBron, the preseason remains a time to rest, recover, and prepare for the challenges ahead. It's clear that, for many players of his caliber, the real season doesn't start until the games that count begin. In the end, while LeBron James might not see much value in traveling to Milwaukee for a preseason game, the Lakers, their coaching staff, and the younger players on a roster will likely benefit from the opportunity to fine-tune their game before the regular season kicks off. For Lakers fans, the hope is that this preseason preparation will help the team hit the ground running and position themselves for a deep playoff run, with LeBron leading the charge once again. The Los Angeles Lakers enter the upcoming NBA season with a solid understanding of their starting lineup and what each player brings to the table. With stars like LeBron James and Anthony Davis leading the way, the expectations are sky-high. However, one player who might hold the key to unlocking the full potential of this team is forward Rue Hakimura. While Hakimura has already shown glimpses of his talent, many, including his teammates and head coach J.J. Redick, believe that there is much more to come from the young forward. Hakimura has undeniable potential on both ends of the floor, but there's still so much room for growth in his game. Head coach Redick has already identified several areas where Hakimura can take things to the next level. But it's not just the coaching staff who see his potential, his teammates are equally excited. Point guard D'Angelo Russell, in particular, has been vocal about his belief that Hakimura will play a key role in the Lakers' success this season. When asked about Hakimura, Russell didn't immediately focus on his basketball abilities. Instead, he talked about the kind of person Hakimura is off the court and how much positivity he brings to the team's environment. He's great man, Russell said. I just enjoy being around him off the floor. Honestly, basketball is one thing, but just hanging out with him, the energy he brings is so refreshing. You always know you're going to have a good time when you're around him. He's such a high-spirited guy. In the grind of a long NBA season, having teammates who keep the atmosphere light and fun is invaluable. The chemistry in the locker room can make a huge difference in how a team performs on the court, and Hakimura's personality contributes to creating a positive vibe within the Lakers. He's someone who brings that energy every day, which helps everyone around him stay motivated and focused through the ups and downs of the season. But while his presence off the court is important, it's his play on the court that could be the real game-changer for the Lakers this season. Russell believes that Hakimura has a wide range of tools that make him an extremely versatile player, capable of impacting the game in many different ways. And on the floor, man, he's got so many weapons, Russell added. He's been working out with LeBron all summer, training with him in the mornings. His confidence is always high, and that's a big deal. For him, it's about balancing that confidence, whether it's scoring or making those little plays that win games. You know, some nights he's going to score a lot, but on other nights, it's going to be about doing those things that don't always show up on the stat sheet. And that's okay because he's going to help us win games no matter what. This is a key point that Russell emphasizes. Hakimura's value to the team goes beyond just putting points on the board. The Lakers need him to do the little things that often go unnoticed, like setting solid screens, playing tough defense, or grabbing crucial rebounds. These are the kinds of plays that don't always make the highlight real but are essential for winning games, especially in high-stakes situations. For Hakimura, the challenge will be maintaining that balance, staying confident in his scoring ability while also understanding that his role will sometimes require him to focus on other aspects of the game. Russell sees it as his job, as a leader on the team, to help keep Hakimura in the right frame of mind. Just keeping his mentality right is huge, Russell said. He's gonna win us a bunch of games, and it may not always be from scoring. As long as he stays focused and knows his role, he's going to be a big part of what we're trying to do. One of the main areas where Hakimura is looking to expand his game this season is his three-point shooting. Under new head coach J.J. Redick, the Lakers have placed a strong emphasis on spacing the floor, and Hakimura is expected to play a big role in that. Redick has been clear with Hakimura about his expectations, encouraging the forward to take more shots from beyond the arc. He told me he wants me to shoot more threes, Hakimura explained. He thinks I'm a great shooter, and I believe that too. It's something I've been working on, and I think it's going to be really important for us this season. Offensively, I want to be more involved, and defensively, I know I need to step up as well. I really think this is going to be a great year for me. Hakimura has always had a smooth shooting stroke, but consistency from the three-point line is something that could elevate his game and make him an even bigger threat on offense. 
With defenses often focusing their attention on LeBron James and Anthony Davis, Hakimura is likely to get plenty of open looks from deep, and if he can knock those down at a high rate, it will open up a lot of options for the Lakers' offense. But it's not just about shooting for Hakimura. Another area where he's looking to make an impact is on the offensive glass. As one of the stronger, more athletic forwards on the roster, Hakimura has the physical tools to be a force on the boards, and it's something that both he and Redick have discussed as a priority for this season. I feel like I'm stronger now, and I can be more physical, especially when it comes to crashing the boards, Hakimura said. That's something Coach and I have talked about, and he wants me to focus on that more. I know I can help the team in that area. Rebounding, especially on the offensive end, is a critical component of the game that can swing momentum in tight contests. Hakimura's ability to grab offensive rebounds and give the Lakers second-chance opportunities could be a huge factor in close games, and it's an area where he feels he can make a real difference. As the Lakers prepare for another deep playoff run, Hakimura's development could be one of the deciding factors in their success. While stars like LeBron James and Anthony Davis will always be the focal points, teams need strong contributions from their role players to win championships. Hakimura has the potential to be exactly that for the Lakers, a versatile, multi-dimensional player who can make winning plays on both ends of the court. Russell's confidence in Hakimura is echoed throughout the Lakers organization. His teammates, coaches, and fans alike are excited to see what he can bring to the table this season. If he can continue to develop his game, particularly in the areas of three-point shooting, defense, and rebounding, Hakimura could very well be the X-factor that helps propel the Lakers to another championship. In the end, it's not just about what Hakimura can do as an individual. It's about how he fits into the larger puzzle that is the Lakers' championship aspirations. With his versatility, work ethic, and positive energy, there's no doubt that Hakimura has all the tools to be a key contributor to the Lakers' success this season. And with teammates like D'Angelo Russell helping to keep him focused and confident, the sky's the limit for Rue Hakimura and the Lakers in their pursuit of another NBA title. There are several NBA teams currently facing a situation where they find themselves stuck in a sort of middle ground. These teams aren't strong enough to realistically contend for a championship, but they are also too talented to bottom out and go through a complete rebuild. This leaves them in a position where they may be considering significant changes to shake up their rosters and potentially set themselves on a new path. Among these teams are the Chicago Bulls, Los Angeles Lakers, and New Orleans Pelicans, each facing unique challenges as they try to navigate their futures. One particularly intriguing trade idea has emerged from Andy Bailey of Bleacher Report, suggesting a blockbuster, multi-team deal that involves these three teams. In this proposed trade, a number of key players, including multiple All-Stars, would be swapped in an effort to reshape the rosters of all three franchises involved. At the center of this trade, the Los Angeles Lakers would acquire Zach Levine, while Brandon Ingram would head to the Chicago Bulls. However, the trade is much more complicated than just a one-for-one -one exchange between the two stars. In the proposed trade, the Los Angeles Lakers would receive Zach Levine and Antonio Reeves. In return, they would send Rue Hakimura, D'Angelo Russell, Jalen Huchifino, Cam Reddish, Jackson Hayes, as well as their 2029 and 2031 first-round draft picks. For the Lakers, this is a significant haul to give up, but it could ultimately prove to be worth it if Levine emerges as the dynamic third star they've been seeking to pair alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Levine's scoring ability and offensive versatility would undoubtedly elevate the Lakers' roster, potentially pushing them into a better position to contend for a title, especially in the twilight of LeBron's career. On the flip side, the Chicago Bulls would receive Brandon Ingram, D'Angelo Russell, Jalen Huchifino, and the Lakers' 2029 and 2031 first-round picks. In return, they would part ways with Zach Levine, Chris Duarte, and a 2031 first-round pick. This is an interesting move for the Bulls, as it would signal the beginning of a new direction for the franchise. The Bulls have been toying with the idea of trading Levine for some time now, especially as they begin to look toward a possible rebuild. By acquiring Brandon Ingram and D'Angelo Russell, they would not be fully committing to a rebuild right away, but rather taking a step in that direction. Both Ingram and Russell are on expiring contracts, which means the Bulls would have the flexibility to either re-sign them or let them walk and free up significant cap space after the season. This deal could give Chicago some short-term competitiveness while positioning them for a more strategic rebuild in the near future. Meanwhile, the New Orleans Pelicans would bring in Rue Hakimura, Chris Duarte, Cam Reddish, Jackson Hayes, and a 2031 first-round pick from Chicago. In exchange, they would be giving up Brandon Ingram and Antonio Reeves. 
For the Pelicans, this trade is more about getting ahead of a situation that could become problematic down the road. Brandon Ingram has been an integral part of their team, but reports have suggested that the Pelicans are not inclined to re-sign him at the contract amount he is likely to demand. By moving Ingram now, they avoid potentially losing him for nothing in free agency, while also gaining some young, promising talent and future draft capital in the process. In terms of immediate impact, this trade doesn't make the Pelicans a significantly better team, but it does offer them some long-term benefits. Rue Hakimura has shown flashes of his potential, and Cam Reddish and Chris Duarte are both young players who could develop into valuable rotation pieces. Jackson Hayes, a player the Lakers would be parting with in this scenario, was originally drafted by the Pelicans and could fit nicely into their future plans, particularly if he continues to grow as a rim protector and rebounder. While the idea of this trade is undoubtedly intriguing, it also presents several questions and challenges for each of the teams involved. For the Lakers, the main question would be whether giving up a number of young players and draft picks is worth it to acquire Zach Levine. Levine is undoubtedly a talented player, but he has dealt with injuries in the past, and there's always some risk involved when acquiring a player with that kind of history. Furthermore, by giving up D'Angelo Russell, the Lakers would be parting with one of their primary playmakers, which could create a hole in their backcourt unless they believe Levine can fully take over those duties alongside LeBron. For the Bulls, the question revolves around their long-term strategy. While acquiring Brandon Ingram and D'Angelo Russell gives them two talented players who can help them win now, both players are on expiring deals, meaning the Bulls could potentially lose them in free agency if they don't fit into the team's future plans. This could set the team back in its rebuilding process, leaving them in a state of uncertainty. As for the Pelicans, moving on from Brandon Ingram would be a big decision, especially considering how important he has been to their success in recent seasons. However, if they truly believe they won't be able to keep him long-term, this trade could be a smart way to get value in return before losing him for nothing. That said, the young players they would acquire in this trade would need to develop quickly for the Pelicans to remain competitive in the loaded Western Conference. While the likelihood of this trade actually happening may not be particularly high, it would certainly create a major shakeup in the NBA if it were to come to fruition. Each team involved would be significantly altering its trajectory, and the ripple effects could be felt across the league. For fans, it would make for an exciting scenario, as the balance of power could shift depending on how these players fit into their new teams. Ultimately, trades like these, while fun to imagine, are often more complicated than they appear on the surface. Front offices have to weigh not only the talent being exchanged, but also the financial and strategic implications of each move. Still, it's always interesting to consider what could happen if bold moves like this one were made, and how they could potentially reshape the NBA landscape for years to come.